Hello, thought everybody might like to have a look at Grady White's brand new 230 Fisherman Center Console, the newest center console in our line. You know, center consoles have been boats that have been selling well for a long, long time, and I'm convinced part of the reason is the versatility of an open boat like this, because they speak well to and work well for fishermen and for families. It's a lot of fun for both. So as I go through the features in this boat, you'll hear me refer back and forth to family boats and fishing boats because a lot of the features work for either one and work well for either one. And you'll see that as we go through this little tour of the boat. Uh, a couple of statistics before we go. It says 23 foot center console. The beam is uh, 8 foot 6. Carries 120 gallons of fuel. It has 10 gallons of fresh water. Uh, powered with this Yamaha F250, our top end speed is over 44 miles an hour and we cruise at 28 miles an hour at almost 3 miles per gallon. Now as I talk about the features, again as I said, uh, we'll talk about family versus fishing or in addition to fishing and I can begin with showing you our 32 gallon live bait tank. Now if you're a fisherman that's exciting, 32 gallons of live bait is, is wonderful, but if you're not fishing and you're just cruising, it's, it's insulated storage, so there's good uh, storage for drinks, deli meats, if you're on that deli cruise, or, or however you want to use the boat. So it, it does have features for both. On this side, a similar compartment contains a lift-out storage bin. That's good for trash, it's good for dock lines, good for anything you want to, to use there. And then a little work tray that is uh, plumbed as well. If you're a fisherman, you can do lures, you can do pliers. If you're out there on a, on a cruise, you can always have uh, suntan lotion. Maybe you have your camera in here for when the kids are playing in the water. It's a lot of fun to capture those guys. A lot of utility back here. Certainly if you're fishing, cockpit space is important. I'm a larger than average guy, a lot of room for fishing back here. Uh, but just as we would have it, there's a fold-out seat that's, that, that's just that easy to get to. It's perfect for that long ride back when you're 30 miles offshore and you've killed them all day long and you're, you've had a good time, but you're ready to take that little nap on the way back, or for, for entertaining family and friends and cruising, and just having a lot of people on the boat to have a lot of fun. So this whole cockpit area works well for fishermen, works well for families. Should mention that we have fresh water, so you can wash down, you can wash your hands off after you, you've been cutting bait and catching fish, or you can just wash off after swimming in the salt water. Our lean bar has a lot of bulk storage. That's good for both. Tackle storage built in here. Built-in safety, is uh, we have a fire extinguisher there. When you move to the helm, we've got a bolster seat that flips up and down. The nice thing about that is the captain and his mate have plenty of room here to run the boat. Lots of space for big people. Standing is just right. Flip of a wrist, you've got a nice seat for that, that slow cruise when you're just watching the waterfront and watching all the people walking up and down the beach. It's really an effective use of space. You see here, with it, we've got a Raymarine C120 mounted at the dash. Certainly on a boat like this you could have a lot of different units. Uh, that's about as big a unit as you probably put here but room for a lot of versatility. We also have our VHF radio mounted down below as well. That leaves the overhead electronics box available for storage throughout the boat. You can leave that open, hats, gloves, whatever you want to put in there is, is, is pretty much open space. More storage on top of the console as well. There's always a need to put something down, whether it's your sunglasses, your hat, your camera, binoculars, whatever they are, a lot of space uh, to put things down here. Need to talk about the T-top a little bit. This is a different design for us. We took the T-top legs off of the floor to make a good, easy, clean passageway to the bow. And it also helps with the aesthetics and the lines of the console and getting the aluminum framing tucked inside of the console where it's a little less visible and the lines complement the boat in the same way. As we move forward, a number of features up in the bow of the boat work well for both the fisher and the family. If you're bringing a lot of gear to the boat, we have a removable cooler. This one happens to be a little bit of an upgrade. It's a Yeti. Um, we also have a, a standard Coleman cooler that comes with the boat. Obviously, it has a cushion, plenty of room for seating. It's for that ride offshore or for the ride with the family. And obviously, if you want to take the cooler home, put your gear in that, bring that back to the boat, that works well too. And a lot of extra storage down in there. Up forward in the bow area, notice we can walk all the way through to the forward end for access to the anchor. Anchor windlass is here. That's an option on our boat. It sure does work well for coming up if, you're, if you have your family with your boat 
and you want to pull into the shore and, and spend the day uh, on the shoreline having a good time, drop the anchor and you're ready to go. Or if you're offshore and you want to bottom fish, same kind of thing. You drop, drop the anchor and you're settled in and ready to go. Below the seating areas here, we have a cooler and then another cooler on this side. All this is insulated. So you can use it, like I'm showing here, as a cooler with ice and drinks, or for fish, or you can use it for dry storage. All these coolers drain overboard, and they are dry, and they're gasketed, so when they being insulated and draining overboard works well from two aspects. One, obviously, for the ice and the fish, or whatever you're keeping cool, if it's a deli cruise, your deli meats. But also that makes them very good dry storage, and people don't often think about how, much, how many things they want to keep dry on a boat. The other obvious advantage up, up here is the seating. Again, you can have a lot of people sitting up here just enjoying the day. Um, let me just walk through for a second how many people can sit on this boat at one time. I've got one here, a second beside me, a third, a fourth, a fifth on the cooler, two at the helm, that's seven, and then two more in the back seat. You can have nine people on this boat sitting and riding. So what a, what a great day on the water with a big group of people and everyone having a place to sit. In the same way, let's just go through the storage in one pass. Storage in the live well for live bait or for ice, for drinks, for dry storage. Storage in this well here for dock lines, for trash, for suntan lotion, for binoculars, for cameras, those types of things here. Places to put things down on top of the console. Storage inside of the lean bar. Storage in both of these front compartments. More storage in this cooler. As, as I mentioned, there's a console. And what do you want on your center console, inside the console, but a head? It's certainly big enough for its intended use. I'm a little over six feet tall and quite a bit heavier than I should be, and there's plenty of room for me in here. And sometimes these macho fishermen don't care anything about a head because they have other ways of taking care of business, but they are, it, it, the storage inside here is important to them, and there's a lot of room, as you saw with me down inside of there, for bulk storage for fishermen or for the family cruiser to put all their, their PFDs or um, uh, play equipment, whatever they want to put down in there to have some fun with for a day on the water. Sure am glad you guys spent some time with us today, with me today going through the boat. Hope you enjoyed that. I know that uh, summertime's coming, and you're going to spend a lot of time on the water, and just maybe, I'll see you out there. Happy boating!